Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing some Eye Heart Revolution makeup for you. I've got the Eye Heart Revolution Cotton Candy Eyeshadow Palette, which I absolutely love. I think I've done a video on it before, but I can't really remember. But I saw it in my collection and I wanted to take it out and have a go with it. So we're going to do that today. I've also got a couple of other Eye Heart Revolution bits over here. A highlighter and a lip gloss slash lip oil from the Primark collection. So yeah, we're going to have fun with that today. In case you haven't noticed, I have got a few little twinkly things in my background now. If you've been subscribed to my channel or known me for a few years you will know that I used to film with lighting very similar to this and I thought I just needed it it was one of those times where I wanted to reorganize my whole filming area I have actually done that I'm very proud of it I love it I think it's going to make filming a lot easier I've got some storage next to me I've also got some sets of drawers which I've organized my highlighters blushes things like that lipsticks and just seasonal collections really I'm really excited I absolutely love it I am actually going to be doing a chocolate bar collection video very soon I'm not going to say much more on it but I'm very excited about it and while I was sorting it out I found this one again which I love so I'm going to be doing a video on it while I was organizing my makeup I wanted to stick these lights up so I have done and I love it there will be a couple of changes with my background soon I'm sure but for now this is a good enough change for me and I hope you like it it's very nostalgic the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be testing today for you is the iHeart Revolution cotton candy chocolate bar palette the packaging is absolutely adorable it's got this cream and then this sort of candy icing pink on the front I have used this quite a lot over the years and I'm sure I've done a video on it at some point but I wanted to grab it out of my collection and just do a little look today which I'm excited to do so I'm gonna dive into it. Before I get onto the eyeshadow I am gonna pop these two items on. So these were both from the Primark and iHeart Revolution collection. I did nip down to Primark Meadow Hall just to grab these and I did do a full collection video of the Primark X Revolution range so if you want to see that that is on my channel but I'm gonna use this lip oil and this highlighter in today's video. First of all, this is what the Juicy Watermelon lip gloss looks like. I have said in previous videos that this does have a lip oil texture, which I am all here for. I absolutely love it. It does have tiny red and green goldy kind of reflex in, which is really pretty. And it does smell of watermelon. And I have used this daily for quite a while now. And as you can see, it does give you a really nice gloss. It does feel like oil lip oil which i'm loving at the minute and you can smell the watermelon which if you like that scent you will probably love this next up i'm going to show you this highlighter so this is called the love triple pink highlighter and it was the limited edition range from primark and iheart revolution this is what the color looks like so we're going to pop this on my cheeks normally with this little heart i just swirl my fan brush around and then i'll just run back and forth like that it is a very nice looking highlighter it's one of my favorites of the year so far i have to say and i think it was three pounds fifty from the top of my head but it is really cute and then I'll just pop some on my forehead as well I am actually really excited to go into the cotton candy eyeshadow palette just because I haven't played with it in a while but over the years I've really loved it that's a little highlighter I've just primed my eyes using the revolution super base for my first shade I'm going to go in this purple shimmer which is here which is called pretty and pastel this is definitely a well used shade of mine as you can see it's got a beautiful reflect to it and I'm going to pop that in the wing I am definitely feeling a pinky, purpley, goldy look today. I'm going to fill my favourites after this. I just wanted to play about with the palette first. And I do love all of the chocolate bar palettes. As I said, I have just organised my entire filming space, which has been something I've wanted to do for a very long time. And now I've finally had the time to do it. I've really spent a long time sorting it out how I want it to be. And I think it's going to make my filming life a lot easier now. I've organised everything. And hopefully it makes the content better for you as well. Because I'll be able to try lots of different things. And everything's easy to grab. So this makes me happy. That's the pretty and pastel shade from the Cotton Candy palette. I really like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then after this video and after my favourites video. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to sunbathe for a little bit. And get some sunshine. I did go on a lovely walk yesterday with my family, which I think was much needed. And who's excited for the Barbie film that's coming out? I'm not sure if I'm going to go see it in the cinema, but me and my friend did talk about going, so maybe. But yeah, I really like that purple. There are a couple of very cute pink shades in here. I think for this look, I'm going to go in Fairy Floss, which is the lightest pastel pink shimmer. That's what it looks like. It's kind of got a rose gold reflect. It's very pretty. For this floss shade, I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner like that. And all of these shades, to be honest, would make beautiful inner corner highlights. And I find that the chocolate bar palettes, they blend so nicely into each other. 
And then I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. Also, talking about the Primark range, the couple of bits that I just used, so the highlighter and the lip gloss slash lip oil, does anyone think that was a limited edition or do you think they're going to bring out new ranges? I kind of have a gut feeling that they're going to bring out a Christmas selection, which I'm excited for. I mean, I don't want Christmas to arrive just yet, but I like the Christmas releases and I feel like probably we're going to get something along that line, just because I felt this first release with iHot Revolution and Primark was so summery and springy, I guess. That's what I've got on my eyes so far. Because I've used a lot of shimmers as well, I do tend to get quite a bit of fallout, probably due to my skill set. <laughs> but that's what I've got in my eyes. I really like the way the purple looks in the wing. Just feels like a delicate look today. Next, I'm going to take the shade Sweet Tooth, which is this champagne shimmer. And for starters, I'm going to pop one on the inner corner like that. And the same again over there. Love it. I'm going to go back in the shade. And then for this part, I'm just going to do that so just place some on the inner corner and use a clean finger just to brush up slightly i always like doing this i think it ties the inner corner with the look and just brightens the inner corner of the eye which i think is really pretty i am going to take my waterline brush now i am going to go in the pretty in pastel shade again which is the purple shimmer and i'm just going to use that to bring down to the center of the waterline and then the same on this side and then to finish the look off, I'm going to go in the shade Topped, which is this beautiful, I want to say a cross between champagne and gold and sort of yellow, I guess. It's a very nice, it's a very nice pop-in sort of blonde shimmer, I want to say. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. And for this shade, I'm just going to take that under the waterline, just because I think that will really brighten the inner corner up. And I'm going to tap a little bit here as well. Ooh. For my mascara, I'm going to use my ultimate favourite, which was introduced to me by Gina, aka It's Gigi Sparkle, here on YouTube. She did actually send me one of these in our gift swap, which we did at New Year's, and I've been using it every day ever since. The one she actually gave me is over on my dressing table, there's only a tiny bit left. I did repurchase this, and I have introduced a couple of my friends to this as well, so I'm so excited. Thank you, Gina, for showing this to me, because it's the ultimate mascara. This is the Essence Princess Lash Mascara. It's so good. I think it was £3.50, and it's incredible. So it's a false lash effect mascara and i'll show you what the brush looks like it's the best mascara i've ever used i swear i used to love the nars climax one but when gina sent me this i've honestly not turned back and this is a drugstore brand it's a drugstore price and it performs like it's elite it's incredible i have actually used this in many videos and i have done a video solely on this so if you do want to see that there is one on my shorts as well it's just amazing This is what the mascara looks like. I am just going to try and look down just so you can see. But this is absolutely incredible. I always have so much confidence when I wear it and I get loads of compliments as well. And it just is one of those mascaras that is just my favourite. I just can't explain to you. How is this £3.50? How? <laughs> and I think with makeup it's all about happiness and confident. And for this to be £3.50 and bring me this much joy, I just... I'm so happy with it. So if you are looking for a lengthening, volumizing, literally insane mascara, this might be the one for you. And that lip oil is holding up so well. This is my finished look using the iHeart Revolution Cotton Candy Chocolate Bar Palette. And then also the lip oil and the highlighter from Primark X iHeart Revolution. I absolutely love this. I feel like this is exactly what I wanted to go for today. I'm going to film my favourites after this as well for June, which I'm excited about. If you are looking for chocolate bar palettes from iHeart Revolution, if you like pastely kind of colours, this one might be the one for you. The packaging is just adorable. It's so cute. And then inside you have got quite a few neutral colours as well. I think there's a lot of inner corner highlights in here. There's lots of brightening up waterline colours. I just think it's a beautiful palette. I just, it's one, I think this was my first ever chocolate bar palette as well. Like ever. And I have nearly all of them. <laughs> like I said, I will be doing a chocolate bar collection video soon. So keep an eye out for that. If you do want to see that, please subscribe. I'm very excited about it. And yeah, really love this. The lip oil is something that, I mean, it says lip gloss, but it is a lip oil. It's, 
it's definitely got lip oil properties if you know what i mean this is lovely really like it i do actually really like watermelon scent which is unusual for me and then the highlighter definitely one of my favorites from the year so far a hundred percent highly recommend it thank you so much for watching if you want to see more makeup beauty and testing videos then please subscribe because i do upload three times a week and i do also upload on shorts and tiktok as well and if you want to see more you can actually follow me on instagram that's at zoe glitter zoe with a y where i just post makeup and cute girly things really but yeah youtube is my ultimate hobby i am working my way through my makeup collection making videos so if you want to see that then please stick around i'd love to have you here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye